Thank you, Steve. An update now on a story we first brought you earlier this week. One of the suspects facing animal cruelty charges faced the judge today. This as we learn more about where some of the animals seized have been moved to. I would assume live in Warwick tonight with more on the men who appeared in court today. Kate. Mike, we're live outside Kent County Courthouse, where earlier today we were inside District Court as Michael Williams was ordered held without bail. He faces multiple charges, including more than two dozen counts of animal cruelty. And this afternoon, we dug deeper and found the pet store now giving shelter to over 100 snakes and other reptiles, all found in that house of squalor. 25 dogs, mainly French bulldogs, about 130 snakes and reptiles, and more than 300 rats. It was uh, decomposing rats that were in there. Reportedly found sick in squalid, infested conditions at a home at 189 Pleasant View Avenue in Smithfield. Eyewitness News was there Tuesday as they were removed and the two men inside arrested. Thursday morning, we were also in district court as one suspect, Michael Williams, was ordered held without bail on charges of illegally growing 11 marijuana plants, 25 counts of animal cruelty, and conspiracy to do so. There's a large amount of feces and urine on the floor. Other canines were located in small cages with the uh, very strong toxic odor. Those animals now at shelters and at the RISPCA getting treatment as they await Williams' fate. Special Agent Earl Newman said Williams relinquished rights to four pets so far. I received an update while we were in court that you know, one of the dogs that's in the care of another agency is uh, being brought in for surgery this morning. Um, so they did have some pretty significant health issues. He said they believe Williams was breeding the dogs and snakes for profit. We went to Pure Paradise Pets in Johnston where they described the conditions of the house and confirmed the snakes, many with mites, had a temporary home there. This wasn't Williams' first offense. He was on probation for 11 counts of animal cruelty last year. Many of the dogs found then also found this time because he wasn't ordered to give up his right to own the pets at the time. Williams is due back in court on April 3rd. And as for that second suspect, I got these court documents because he was not in court today. They say that he was arraigned and he was held uh, or he was released on $1,000 bail. He did not have to be held because this was a first offense. And he is also due back in court on April 3rd. Live in Warwick, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.